Just as the sunrise starts to show Warming up the motorway You know you felt this way before But can't recall the time and day Don't know if life is a small part Hello, it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a place where you can find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home this fall season. Today I'm in our living room in our old little farmhouse out in Iowa and just wanting to get it all cozy and ready for autumn time, which is our probably our favorite season around here. But going to go ahead and tidy up a bit, probably run the vacuum, wipe down a few things. It gets really messy really fast in this house, having four kids running around and, well, one's crawling. But it's just a nice feeling to decorate in a room that's clean and free of clutter for most part. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that way when you go to put all your decorations out, you're not tripping over stuff and moving things out of the way all that can make things kind of frustrating but i'm really glad you're here and really looking forward to putting out those cozy pillows and chunky knit throws and just adding those beautiful warm autumn tones like those those burnt oranges and golds reds browns and just adding all that to, all that to this room like a bird of unclothed And the last thing I would like to ask Before getting in the sea Did you ever love me? So another storm was headed our way on this particular day. Now this video was recorded before that really big storm came through a couple of weeks back. It was a Midwest derecho is what they called it. That we experienced winds around about 130 miles per hour, which is, it can be compared to a category four hurricane. But that storm literally came out of nowhere and no human had the ability to predict what was coming that night. But thankfully our home wasn't damaged hardly at all. We did have a tremendous amount of damage outside with trees uprooted and our playground and playhouse and part of our Morton building is gone. But our garden and chicken coop and chickens, they were completely fine all that was still standing and barely even touched if you can believe it um i try to include some uh, i'll try to include some footage at the end of the video if you're interested but working really hard to clean up our home I know, and it's been a very difficult time for everyone this this year but one thing though i did notice when we were when we were um out of power for several for those several days when that storm came i noticed it was so quiet and peaceful in such a way because you you didn't hear those constant humming sounds from all the electrical appliances and it was just a different stillness that was present in our home and i was i was really beginning to grow fond of it was another reason why i look up to the amish community i said tell me your story he took out a note something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote he said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers And you'll find So I have a few new things that I bought at Home Goods this year, along with our old time favorites. So mixing the old with the new, I thought this little family of owls were, I thought they were just so adorable. And um, so I picked these up and then I have some other things and I have these black and white pumpkin, um, little pumpkin garland and a, a cute little gnome. 
but I think I'm going to use those in the kitchen and dining room, which will be in the next fall decorating video. Now, I already have the kitchen decorated and filmed, so I'm hoping to get that one out later this week. So, really excited about that. So I did decide to get this really, one of my favorite throw blankets. Now it's, I really, I usually bring it out in the winter time, but I, I, I love and I thought that it would look really pretty with the oranges and the golds and everything. So it's probably a little too warm to, to <laughs> it's a little too warm still to snuggle up with it at night, but I thought I mean, the texture and color would be, it would be kind of pretty in here right now. I did have a little bit more decorating in the living room to do but I'll include that in my next video but it looked like it was gonna rain <laughs> earlier and it looked like the storm had passed so I decided to go outside and go ahead and water everything and like I said this all was before the um, that derecho hit 
but I wanted to go ahead and come out here and harvest. It's kind of time to harvest everything, the onions, um, uh, beets, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, right now I'm watering the, um, the marigolds that we have and the basil, which I'm not going to harvest right now. So it's probably going to be the only thing that I water out here right now and then harvest everything else. So the next video I'll show right, right now we do have lots of pumpkins growing and I'm, I'm going to include that in the, in the next couple of fall videos. So, so just really excited about that. But it's funny because after I ended up watering the stuff that needed to be watered, it did end up raining like about an hour later. <laughs> so, but I just thought to include this. A big chunk of our, our days go to taking care of the garden. And it's really peaceful out there and um, I know a lot of you love love to garden and it's great to do especially right now just to be sustainable in that way grow your own food and eat clean and just spend time out in nature and just watch your garden grow and take off and, and harvest it's just it's an amazing process to see to see everything and experience especially with kids too but the kids were inside playing and our baby my son put him to sleep so I kind of snuck out to get some mama time Searching for something that ain't lost Have we got our lines crossed? We're wasting time on stuff that doesn't really matter While wishing for something better I try to fix things that weren't broken Misunderstandings and words unspoken we fall apart, and I won't dare to say, do you feel the same way? Maybe you don't want to know, but you don't see what you have in front of you. Or maybe I'm not enough for you, so maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. Cause I don't want to waste my time. That everything's okay Don't string me along the way you do Just let me get over you Maybe you don't want it all But you don't see what you have in front of you Or maybe I'm not enough for you So maybe I should go If I had known from the start This wouldn't have ended but broken hearts I don't want to waste my time, no I don't want to waste my time Cause I don't wanna waste my time